Good day guys and welcome to some more TV role action from Clash Royale. Just thought I'd try something different today. Instead of doing the top level players where we had the top 100 players playing each other, we're going to be watching people where they're trying to do the um, level 1 card challenge where they don't level up their cards at all. I won't like record where they've got like 4 or 5 level 1 legendaries, that's not not really good in part of the spirit. So this guy's pure level 1, the blue player Adizura versus the red player which is Adibgeo. So I'm going to be doing about two games per video, I think. Probably a good amount. <clears throat> so just sort of getting the game underway now. Sort of not much to really talk about in the first 30 seconds to a minute of the game. It's quite funny watching people's faces when they lose to level 1 cards. Obviously, there's another fireball to stop him. If he had his fireball, he might have been alright. But he just gets absolutely swamped. Even though in level 1 cards, it's still pretty deadly. It's just funny watching these guys who just have no idea how to play. He's taking some hits on his main tower already. I mean, these blue players, prop the blue players are like a pretty good player normally. He just as a second, they count for a bit of fun. Defensive giant goes down. It's pretty good, pretty good tactic. Always handy having the defensive giant. I mean, especially for five cost, he stopped a five cost prince and a four cost Valkyrie, so he came out on top there. In the looks wise, really wasting his fireballs. You can tell that he's not their best play because you really don't need the fireball, the musketeer, unless you're supporting the attack. You could let the musketeer get to the middle. You might put it down a mini pecker and a musketeer. You could have fireball both of them instead of just wasting on one unit. And the old tombstone. Should be, oh, of course, a new patch coming out next couple of days, which looks pretty decent. I don't know why they keep buffing, or they're going to be buffing the Elixir Collector. I think it was at a pretty good stage where it was. It was a bit more expensive, but it lasted a bit longer. I think they're just, they're just tweaking it too much. They just give it a bit of a, a bit of a nerf from where it was before, then just leave it alone. This is where he needs his fireball. If he had his fireball, he would have been absolutely perfectly fine. Pretty bad spot for the Varica there, should have kept it, put it, dropped it close to his tower. Blue player's got just really good strong troops, even though they're level 1, they're pretty strong still. Now I'm using TV Royal because obviously they're going to be close and interesting games. Okay, he's got an attack coming now. Blue player's got some good defensive cards though. Is he going to drop the, the minions on top of the attack? I guess he's going to bring it down to a one tower all. Maybe, maybe. Can the dragon get it? Sock free to your fireball. Okay, it's <laughs> one versus one now. One crown versus one crown. Adib's got the attack going though. Good defensive tombstone. Oh, he comes some sneaky minion hordes with a sneaky little prince there. And yeah, that's going to get him. Oh no, he stopped the attack. Oh, what a fireball. Go goblins. <laughs> get him. Just waiting for a sneaky attack though. Oh, comes the Musketeer and gets the one shot in. Sneaky side Musketeer. That was actually a really good game. Look at that. 36 life on his main tower. GG to both players. Okay, here comes the second game. Max in the red corner. El Pudo Ammo in the blue corner. It's quite hard trying to find um, games that both players are really trying hard to actually win. Usually it ends up one player just going inactive because they don't want to get any trophies or whatever. Down goes the Skeleton Horde versus the Prince. Doesn't matter what level the Skeletons are, I don't think it really matters. It was going to take the Prince out. Big attack coming up here with the Mini Pekka and the Valkyrie. Oh, defensive Valkyrie. Mini Pekka. Oh, stops Mini Pekka in the hits. Any, any hits in. Here comes the big Barbarians. Got the Fireball ready to go. There we go. Almost the Knights of the Barbarians. Alright, level 1 Barbarian Hut, level 1 Goblin Hut. Still can do some damage. Here comes a level 2 Goblin Hut. Max has got no answers at the moment. Waiting for his elixir to build up. El Puto's got all the, all the answers. Here comes the big fireball. 
Doesn't do that much damage to the Barbarian Hut. Probably a bit of a waste there. Big Giant comes down. Supported by the Goblin. Even at no health, those Barbarians still do some damage. And they're going to do it. They're going to do some damage to the Goblins. No, they can't quite get through him. Big Skeleton's getting ready to be cast down. Might not even need him. No, here they come. It's probably a bit early, Big Skeletons. Barricade to support the Prince, but it's too late. Here comes a defensive Valkyrie. I don't know, I think he's level 2 Goblin Hunt might be too much for him to break through. Here comes the Barbarians. Fireball should be an answer to that. Yes, Fireball. Takes him out easily. Bit of a stalemate now. Max has done some damage to both towers though, so he's in a bit up in position than... Um, no, El Pudo's done more damage. Sorry to Max's towers and Max has done to El Pudo's. Here comes the um, big dragon. Oh, Fireball's his main tower. I don't think he meant to do that. <laughs> Skeleton's down again. He's got to learn that doing the same thing over and over again is not going to work. Can we actually see the high level player beat the low level player? I don't know. Mini Pekka. Here comes the Prince. Oh, puts down the tombstone. He's got Prince Pekka. Mini Pekka. Barbarians hitting his tower. Defensive Valkyrie. Getting ready for the defensive skeletons. Skeletons come down. Stop him. Here comes the big fireball. No, no, don't fire your fireball. Don't waste your spells like that. You know the tower is dead anyway. And it wasn't dead. It's no time to fireball it. What a waste of fireball. Okay, so it's one crown all now. It's getting pretty intense. Here comes the Prince. Sneaky side Prince. Don't know where he's going. Tombstone. Okay, we've got what's going on here? We've got Prince going in for the hit. Stops the Prince. Alright, defensive giant. El Pudo's got the push going now. Push down some skeletons. Two dragons, lots of goblins, lots of skeletons. And a giant. And I think Max has given up. He knows loss. That was his game to lose. GG Max. I think that was a pretty awesome game, that one. So I'm getting the video there. Just two videos. Or two replays today. Really enjoyed doing this series. It's only just kicked off the last couple of days. So I'm going to be bringing you some more action. I don't know if I'm going to do more of these level 1 people or more pro games or maybe do like two pro games. Pro game. <laughs> Can't speak. Two pro games and maybe one wonky game like that just for a bit of fun. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, please subscribe. And don't forget the big 2000 card tournament coming up this Saturday. That's Australian time. It's Friday, American time. I think it's like 11 p.m. Los Angeles time. But definitely subscribe for that. The only way you're going to get the details is joining my stream and watching and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm going to be there and I'll see you guys later.